In your previous lesson, you have learned about the two classifications of mixture, the heterogeneous mixture and the homogeneous mixture. Today, we are going to talk about solutions and the solubility of substances. Mixtures can also be classified into solution, suspension, and colloid. Solution Air, seawater, coffee, juice, vinegar, and alcohol are solutions. A solution is a homogeneous mixture where the particles of the other substance spread evenly through the particles of the other substance. It is made up of a solute and a solvent. Solute is the substance being dissolved. Samples of solute are salt, sugar, coffee, and juice. The substance that dissolves the solute is called the solvent. The solvent is usually the substance that is present in greater quantity than the solute. The most common solvent is water. It is called the universal solvent because it can dissolve so many substances. Other solvents are alcohol, acetone, kerosene, and acetic acid. Some solutes are soluble in a certain solvent but not in other solvents. An example is salt which is soluble in water but not in kerosene. Nail polish is soluble in acetone but not in water and alcohol. Are solutions formed only in liquids? What other solutions do you know? You might have given solutions in a liquid form. But a solution does not always have to be liquid. A solution can be in solid, liquid, or gaseous phase. A solid solution consists of a solute which can be in any phase and a solvent in solid phase. Examples of solid solutions are steel and bronze. A liquid solution consists of solute in any phase dissolved in a liquid solvent. Examples of liquid solutions that have liquid solutes and liquid solvents are vinegar and alcohol. Liquid solutions with solid solute and liquid solvent are hot coffee, salt solution, and sugar solution. Soft drinks are liquid solutions which have gaseous solute and liquid solvent. Gaseous solution consists of gas solute and gas solvent. An example of gaseous solution is air. Solubility of substances Solubility is the ability of a solute to dissolve in a given amount of solvent. When you put sugar and salt in separate glasses with the same amount of water, more sugar will dissolve. This is because sugar is more soluble than salt. Solutes can be classified according to their solubility. Soluble substances are solutes that easily dissolve in a given solvent. Semi-soluble substances are those that dissolve a little. Substances which do not dissolve at all are insoluble. Three types of solution for soluble substances. Saturated solution. It is formed when the maximum amount of solute is dissolved in a given solvent at a stated temperature. When a solution is saturated, it can no longer dissolve additional solute. Unsaturated solution. It is formed when it contains less solute particles than the maximum amount the solvent can dissolve at that temperature. When the solution is unsaturated, 
it can still dissolve additional solute particles. Supersaturated solution. It is formed when the solution contains more solute particles than the solvent can normally hold. In this condition, the excess solute can crystallize with the addition of a tiny crystal. Ways to dissolve substances faster. Steering. It is a method of dissolving substances by using mechanical force, manually or using machines with a steering rod. Through steering, the particles are moving rapidly which hastens the contact between the surface of the solute and the solvent particles. Shaking. It is similar to steering. The container is closed and it is moved rapidly using mechanical force to mix and spread the solutes until dissolves. Heating Hot water has molecules that move rapidly and come in contact more frequently with the solute particles. Most solid substances dissolve faster in hot water than they do in cold water. Powderizing or pulverizing it is done by making the particles of solids smaller to make them dissolve faster when mixed with the solvent. Example, fine salt dissolves faster than rock salt. Remember, applying these four ways of dissolving substances does not affect the amount of solute that dissolves. An insoluble substance remains undissolved no matter how much you apply force in these four ways of dissolving substances. Factors affecting solubility Some solutes readily dissolve in water but do not dissolve in other solvents. The solubility of one substance is another is affected by the Number 1. Nature of solvent and solute Table salt for example, dissolves in water but not in kerosene. It partially dissolves in alcohol. Table sugar dissolves in water but not in kerosene. Oil does not dissolve in water but it dissolves in kerosene. Oil paint dissolves in thinner or kerosene but not in water. Solubility of substances is affected by number 2 temperature. Most solid solutes increase solubility when there is an increase in temperature of the solvent. This is observed when the sugar is put in hot water. More sugar will dissolve in hot water than in cold water. This also happens in table salt coffee, and powdered creamer. Pressure also affects solubility of substances. The solubility of gases in liquid increases as pressure increases and solubility decreases as pressure is decreased. When the soft drink is closed and sealed, there is great pressure so the carbon dioxide is dissolved in the liquid. But when the bottle of soft drink is opened, the pressure of the gas in the bottle is reduced and the solubility of carbon dioxide is decreased.